Caleb, uh, Coach talked uh, a lot about you guys trying to bring pressure, put secondary in a, in a pretty tough situation with coverage. Do you, you guys just not getting there? Do you think that what was lacking in the past few tests? Um, at the end of the day, I mean, I think for us, the plan was to be aggressive, um, you know, and for us, we said the execute a bit better. Um, you know, the coach can dial whatever call they want to, but at the end of the day, as players, they're going to come alive. Elijah Coach has talked about complimentary football. Uh, you guys moved the ball, you scored some points today. When the defense gives up 66, is there, um, you have to be cautious of friction or anything on the team when one side is pulling a little more weight than the other? Uh, can you clarify what you mean by friction? It just defense is giving up 66 points. Is that, is that, that's not complimentary football. Offense is playing well, defense is playing poorly. Uh, there's no friction. Those are our guys, your team. Um, sometimes the offense doesn't play well and the defense plays very well. Sometimes vice versa. So um, the goal is to, to, to bring the uh, bring the floor up and keep keep right keep raising the ceiling. So that's what we do as a team. Coach talked about you guys playing with, with house money and understanding where you've been through the first couple of weeks. Defensively, though, I mean, you're going to have 138 points no matter who you're playing. That's got to that's gotta take personal for you. So, I mean, just to speak to that, past three weeks we played three very good football teams. We played two great quarterbacks, two of which probably have the candidates. But at the end of the day, I mean, we just got to take a look at the film, uh, look at what we've done well, because I think throughout the game we have done, we've shown flashes. I think is really just capitalizing on that and moving forward because I look, you know, things about to turn. You feel like the schedule just becomes more favorable and that's why things are about to turn? I think at the end of the day, it's just about us. We just have to concentrate on what we need to fix and uh, you know, push the needle forward. Riley, the run game opened up today uh, right from the first drive. What do, you, what do you think was added today that wasn't there in the first couple of games to, to get Keyshawn's work? I just think we had 11 guys on the same page there, and um, you know, Keyshawn's a good back, and we had five really good guys up front, so he doesn't need a whole lot to work with, so you just give him that little sliver and then do the rest. Clutch, where's the, uh, looks like there's more chemistry in the passing game now between you guys and Riley than there was the first game. What, what do you think's been added there? Two extra weeks of practice. How much does game experience have to do with that, you think? Um, probably a large part, if I had to guess. I mean, we practice against each other, but we play against other teams. So, you know, for Riley, you know, I don't speak for Riley, um, but probably better to, it's probably more productive um, to see and play against other teams that aren't our players and our defense. Finally, what did you feel the offense did well today? Where is it that you would have liked to have seen the team do better? Uh, yeah, I don't think we had any increased snap penalties that I can think of. If we did, that'd be one. Um, so that's something we kind of focused on both sides of the ball, just kind of eliminating those penalties. Um, we had a couple turnovers. Obviously, that's something you need to eliminate and compete in ball games. So um, I think we moved the ball decent at times, and other times we weren't able to convert third downs that we would have liked to have. So, I mean, it's hit or miss. There's some plays I'd like to add back, but that's every game. Two or three more questions? Oh, I got there. Stretch like this, but when you guys learn collectively about yourselves, do you feel important? Collectively, um, I'd say we've learned that we got hard on this team. You know, I don't, I don't think, well, I would say they're at no point during this game, they got out, it, you, some could say they got out of hand early, but at no point during this game did anybody give up. Anybody look up at the scoreboard and have fear in their eyes or quit in their, quit in their heart. So that's one thing. And then secondly, just the fact that, you know, um, like I guess the Sparks alluded to, when, when the defense doesn't, isn't playing well, the offense has to step up, carry some more weight. So vice versa, special team included. You know, everybody everybody has a job to do. You do your job and, and you trust the man on side of you do their job and, you know, collectively it'll come together. For any of you guys, Disappointed or, or surprised you that LSU has so many of the fans you know, here today after Jordan did it a few weeks ago? And does, that, does that bother you when, at any point when you see that? We play for our team. We play for our team. We play for the fans that come. 
we don't control who comes to the games. We don't control how many fans come and who's watching on TV. We, can, we control how we play. We control how, the emotion of our team. And we control who we, control who we play for. And it's us. One more question. Fellas, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.